Hello everybody, so apparently we got a lot of uh, new stuff in the store um, just today. Uh, I'll probably be doing an opening uh, here for you in a little bit. Um, yeah, we got a ton of boxes here, I'll show you. Uh, so we got Quack uh, Quillenberg, the Alchemist expansion. We got a couple of those. Get that out of the way. And then we got a bunch of uh, Game Genic things in here for all you card people out there. We got some Squires back in. That's a nice lavender purple one. There's a uh, pink. This is a Stronghold. Big yellow 200 plus card holder. There's a red one. Uh, some sidekicks, which are always fun, easy to put into uh, some of your big containers. And another squire, red squire. So that's in this box. Oh, this is some great stuff here. Been waiting for some of this. First off, we got the Goonies here. Goonies never say die. That'll be available soon for everybody to, uh, that would like a copy of it. It's the, the V Battle uh, Pokemon. You know, if one thing we're uh, big and trying to actually play the uh, um, trading card game, um, so this is uh, kind of helps with that. Um, all right. Put that aside. Alright, we got Dungeon Stories. It's supposed to be an epic game. Epic. Uh, we got Tiny Epic uh, Dungeons, which goes along with stories. We got Unstable Unicorns, which is an absolutely fantastic game that we love. Uh, a Satin uh, Ultra Pro box. Uh, ooh, uh, Flux Remix just came out. Fun. This. Let's see what else we got here. Fantasy Realms, which uh, did really well in the uh, 2021 awards here, obviously. I've um, been trying to get that in for a while and uh, just finally came through. Give me that. It's from the makers of uh, Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza, uh, Dolphin Hat. Um, again, we're looking at. Ages 8 plus, uh, 3 to 8 players, and uh, 10 plus minutes. So if you're looking for something quick and and super fun, give me that. It be your choice. And then lastly here we got a Frost Giant Skeleton. They do such great monsters now. Look at the work on that. Absolutely fantastic. I would love to paint it myself. All right. In our second box, we okay, in the first large box. Oh, okay, great. So I have my uh, speed painter, army speed paint starter set. Uh, if you haven't tried these out, I definitely say you should try them. Um, they've uh, worked fantastic from for a lot of our painters recently. So uh, definitely check that out. Uh, then we got the happy little dinosaurs there, uh, which is another unstable game. That's a nice one. Uh, Hannah Makoji. This is actually a Golden Geek Ward at one point in time. 2016. They just re-released it. Every once in a while they go through and remake them. So I got a few copies of that. I got a uh, thing of zombies. Everyone loves zombies. Ooh, a giant dragonfly. Goes uh, great with uh, my wife's store, Opal Dragonfly. I got uh, Dead Men Tell No Tales. It's an expansion. All right. 
And uh, um, I guess it's Momiji. <laughs> Sounds right. This is supposed to be a, a, a great game. Uh, I love what they're doing at uh, Japan Anime um, Games. A lot of good stuff coming out of them. That. And then lastly, I think here, got some Battletech uh, stuff, maps and whatnot. Work here now? Yeah. Let's see, we got boxes, boxes and boxes. boxes. Boxes and boxes. And we probably got car more cardboard inside of those boxes. Oh, oh Pokemon. I knew it! Oh, cardboard it's like cardboard! Ooh, that's nice. A Pokemon this V box. With a Mimikyu. Oh, oh yeah. I know uh Katie, that's Katie's favorite. Mimikyu, yeah. And then something at the bottom is fluffy. That's the same thing. Yeah, I don't know what all it has in it, but uh oh. looks pretty sweet. I'm guessing a holographic Buffy. Uh, yep. There's a Buffy the Vampire Slayer puzzle. Puzzle. Everyone's cool. gonna like that. Oh, it's a oh. It's a hologram it, puzzle. Yeah, it's a tarot card too. It's the lovers. Ah. On to the next box. Look at that. He, he did such precise cuts. It's like he was born for this. <laughs> what? All right, we got that open. Whoa. Okay, Tokyo Sidekick, another game I was looking at it's from uh, Japan Omega Games. It looked, oh. it looked really awesome to me, so I'm glad it looks good to Jake too. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to see how much this is. Look at that, it's crazy, right? Uh, Katie, come look at this. What's this? Alright, so we got those, and then whatever this big box is. Oh, be careful with that one, I think I know what that is. I'm scared. What am I doing with this? Is this Warhammer? Nope. Oh, Battle Academy. He just wanted to look at it. Yeah, I just wanted you to see it. He, he, he was very excited. Oh. Pokemons! <laughs> Lots of Pokemons. Battle Academy stuff. Oh, yeah. So that's a 2021 or 2022 Battle Academy, whatever it is. Oh, the Battle Academy. Yeah. Easy to learn, fun to play. All right. So there's three complete decks. Who are the Pokemon again? Cinderace. So the evolu the Galarian evolution from uh, Score Bunny. Eevee, the normal type, all round adaptive Pokemon, and Pikachu, the lovable starter. Nice. Uh, it's Pikachu V, Eevee V, and Cinderace V. So I don't even know if Score Bunny is going to be in that. I feel like it's going to be. Nice. In in One of the next box. Look at that precise cut. Ah, some revamps, some stuff we've had in the store before, I think. Well, at least Blood Rage, anyway. It's always nice to have Blood Rage back in the store. One don't have Blood Rage. Oh, hey, another, more Tokyo Sidekick. Another Tokyo Sidekick. Oh, these are some great games. Okay. So, Merchant's Cove. Blood it's Rage. It's a 14 plus. Uh, Blood Rage, which is uh 14 uh, plus? What the? <laughs> uh, this is by Eric Lang. And Adrian Smith, this is a great game. Uh, everyone likes Five Tribes. We do have one copy here. This will be our second. Now or Never by Red Raven Games. This game uh, people have raved about for a long time. This is the first time I've been able to get it in. And Mystic Veil vale, uh, Essential Edition. I don't know what this is. Ooh, a plushie of some kind. It's a mimic. Mimic plushie. <laughs> and here's another one down here. It's a mimic. Nice. Pink the Holder. Pink the Holder. It's here. It's. A mimic box! Watch. Should be games or something. Yeah, it's gonna eat us as a mimic box. So. Oh. oh, King of Tokyo! It's the uh, big box. box edition? Yeah. King of Tokyo, Power Up, and Halloween. 11 exclusive cards, a dice tray, and a baby Gigazower. I love Gigazowers. I don't know what that is. It's, it looks like a baby Godzilla. Fair enough. <laughs> cool. Very all right, last one. Now we just have to find room for all this. It'll happen. <laughs> It'll happen. Got it. Come on! <laughs> I just 
had to like barely pass it. All right. So we got a few things in here. Uh, I can't read upside down. Uh, Ned of Valor. Uh, this this game is fantastic. Look at that guy. Ooh, ooh. he's amazing. Uh, so goonies, was... some more Goonies, which is always nice. The Warriors come out to play. What is that from? The Warriors movie. I've never seen it. <laughs> Cthulhu, Cthulhu Wars, Wars. Duel. Extinction. Got a couple of copies of that. Whoops. There's yeah, Hidden Mickeys, which I think we've had in once and we got it again. Uh, cellulose, which looked to me like a pretty cool a game. A plant set of biology game. Yeah. Uh, another essential edition of Mystic Veil. Dead Men Tell No Tales, which is the base game. We had the expansion earlier. Tales from the Loop. And Tales from the Loop. Okay, hold on. We gotta appreciate this art. Yeah, the art is beautiful. The uh, Free League does a great job. The role-playing game is terrific. Um, and, but uh, I didn't really like the show that much, personally. It's on Amazon, I believe, Prime. Uh, maybe we'll see it. But, oh, it comes uh, with the minis. The game looks amazing. It comes with minis. See? It looks like little battle minis. All miniatures supplied unpainted. I have to specify that for certain people. <laughs> That's it. Thanks a lot, guys.